So there's a whole bunch of barriers that people have when they come to us. Many people, it's as simple as having a gap on their resume. Um, there's a six month gap where they're uncomfortable talking about that period of time in their life. And it's our job to help them become comfortable talking about that. For some people, it's the fact that they've been in prison for the last 13 years and they need to figure out how to get a job when no one will look at them. For others, they're single mothers who are returning back to the workforce, maybe after having a child or maybe after raising children. And they're, they've been out of the workforce for a long time and they're really nervous about coming back. For some, it can be a language barrier, especially for the refugees in our communities. And for those individuals, we love to interact with them and reinforce for them what it means to take an honest look at what the barrier is and address it head on. And so we are very clear about what that barrier is because the clearer we are about it, it's almost like the more people's shoulders relax because it's about understanding. And I think that leads to describing some internal barriers that we face because what we see is that people lack self-confidence. People are ashamed of their pasts. But if you can talk intelligently about your own growth, your own journey, what journey you're on and where you're going, that for us is, is really the most important thing. And when we get a person who is, um, I don't know, broken yet authentic, humble yet ready to move forward, someone who's embraced um, both their past and their future potential, oh man, we can move mountains with those people.